We grossed over $1,000 last week. So stay tuned to see what sold and how much of that is actually profit. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kang, and we are the, the Five Resellers. Sellers. Welcome to our channel and welcome to our weekly series, which is what sold. So we talk about what is currently selling online on platforms like Poshmark and eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And we show you our final numbers for how much we make in this side hustle. Mm -hmm. And then we go and share some community bolos. Community bolos. Which are things that people have sent us that they have sold for good money online. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned so you can see all of that and we will jump into what sold for us. Yeah, so the first item that we sold was this loft floral ruffle dress. We sold that for $18 on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. And this sold pretty well because it was a size 16 and it was in really good condition. So I would pick that up again. Next, we sold this John Deere overalls for kiddos and it was $15 on Poshmark. And this is our second time selling John Deere toddler overalls and they sell pretty well, mostly because they are just so dang cute. Like, how can you not? So. Next, we sold this Anthropology Akemi and Kin tank for $18 on eBay. Yes, and this was a quick sale. It sold just within a couple days and I would definitely pick that up again. I think people are shopping for our summer. Yeah. Next, we have this vintage Neiman Marcus Vanity Fair nighty, and we sold that for $25 on eBay. This was so cool. This just, I when we picked it up, I just thought it was really interesting, very vintage. But when we got it home, it was so thin that we couldn't really see that there were all these moth holes mm -hmm. at the bottom. So that's why we sold it for so little. And it took a while to sell, I think, because of that. And I had also priced it high because I still thought it was really special. But we still sold it for $25. I think that's great. Next, we sold this vintage women's beaded floral cardigan. And it sold for $18, sorry, $18.50 on eBay. This didn't have any marking or any anything on there, like a tag or anything like that. But I just thought it looked like something that I was seeing kids wear on TikTok or on Instagram. So that's why we picked it up and it sold very quickly, just in less than a week. Nice. We sold this vintage Victoria's Secret country pajama romper. It made you look like a, a little sheep. <laughs> yeah. That's what it reminded me of. So we sold that for twenty one ninety on eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was so ridiculous, this yep. romper thing. It just... Good for that person who got it. That's all I have to There's say. There was a lot of interest on this there thing, There was right? a lot of interest. I got likes every day. I sent out offers on eBay. I mean, we had it for a while, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. Maybe I, I'm not even going to speculate. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> on the 27th, we had this Marmot uh, Sherpa hoodie, and we sold that for thirty-one ten on eBay. And we had just picked that up. It sold within just two days. And I think it sold because it was a good size and Marmont is a really good brand to be on the lookout for, mm -hmm. especially these winter pieces. They're definitely known for their winter items. Mm -hmm. Next is this vintage Ralph Lauren's jeans, women's lined denim trucker jacket. And we sold that on Poshmark for $35. This was a good sale because it, we got it from the bins and it had this cool Sherpa collar, very trendy, very cool, you know, funky, but it did sit for a while. We had it for over a month, which surprised me. I thought it would sell a lot faster than that. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that it sold and it sold for a good amount. Yeah. Next we sold this green and white floral dress by Nine West for $18 on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. And I got this from a friend of mine. She sent me a whole box of things and this was in there. So 
It wasn't something that I would necessarily pick up to resell, but it was such a cute dress, so I was happy to find it in a new home. Next was this new Under Armour men's baseball pants, and we sold that for $13 on Poshmark. I was really surprised that this sold so quickly. It sold in just two days. Mm -hmm. It was new with tags, but the it only retailed for about $40. So King wanted to buy it and I was nervous about it because I thought it only retails for $40, but it sold yeah. very quickly. I wanted to try to get $20 for it because you, know, you figure that if it is retailing for 40, you can just slash it in half since it's new with tag but we'll take $13 because we've had it for a while, but we've saved it for the baseball season. So I figured that's probably why it's, it's sold so quickly. Yeah, what do you guys do for your new attack items? Do you price it at half price? Do you just go off what comps say? Mm -hmm. What What do you do? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Know. Next, we sold this Athleta sleeveless top for $20.62 on eBay. That's pretty good, Athleta. Is a good brand to be on the lookout for because this was just kind of a plain tank top and it sold for that much so mm -hmm. pretty good yeah and one note to make is that you know when you hear twenty dollars and sixty two cents we do make the buyer pay shipping but also we tell you these numbers in particular and not just our profits we want to tell you what a buyer is willing to pay so it's mm -hmm. really only worth that much right what is what is the buyer willing, willing to pay so uh, we tell you that and then we give you that summary at the end of what our profits are. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Mm -hmm. Lastly, on the 27th was this Firework Cross Back Athletic Dress by Title IX. We sold that for $19.60 on eBay. And we had this forever. We have had that listed since October. Mm -hmm. So yeah. some people say that they have good luck with Title IX. I'm just not sure if this was not a very good dress. I think maybe it had some flaws on it, but I can't remember now. And so maybe it was because of that, but I don't know. I might try it again. That's the only thing of Title Nine that we've tried to sell. So can't say I would recommend picking it up. On the 28th, we had a really good day. Starting on that day, we had this West Point sweatshirt. We sold that for $71 on eBay. It was Champion Reverse Weave, which apparently is a kind of you know, sewing technique, I guess, mm -hmm. Yeah, fabric. Yeah. yeah, so basically when it shrinks, it doesn't shrink upward, like a lot of sweatshirts do, where all of a sudden you've washed it too many times and then your belly button showing. So <laughs> uh, this was Champions Reverse Weave, which is something of a bolo, but I picked it up also because it is on trend right now for people to wear school sweatshirts, college mm -hmm. sweatshirts, even if they have not gone to that college. So if you are out in the store, look out for college sweatshirts in good condition, especially those thicker kind of oversized baggy types. Yeah, and another interesting fact about that sale is that we sold that internationally. Next, we sold this White House Black Market joggers and mm -hmm. it sold for $20 on Poshmark. And these were new with tags. And I picked them up because they were joggers, which are a lot of people are wearing them right now at home, lounging around, you know, being outdoors, things like that. So I would pick something like that up again, but I don't pick up most White House black market that I see. Most of it I leave behind. Yeah. Next on the 28th are Vionics that we really like to pick up. We recently had a haul where we had picked up two Vionics and... Um, you know, these flip-flops sell pretty well for us. We sold that for $25.85 on eBay. Our Vionic sandals have a 100% sell through rate. So we love to pick up that brand. It has a following online. People are looking for, it's a comfort shoe brand. So people are looking for these shoes. Yep. Next, we sold this Four Corners Santa pillows and this other snowman pillow both for about $40 or so, and uh, shipping kind of killed us on this. <laughs> yeah. I did not realize that these pillows would be so heavy, but when we weighed them, they were like six pounds. Who, I thought pillows are supposed to be feather white. Like, I don't get it. I don't know. But. Yeah, we, we kind of made a mistake there. We should have weighed the item, but yeah. like Camilla said, who would have thought? 
I think it's because of the knitting and, and just the thick mm -hmm. fabric. So yeah. you'll hopefully see in the picture that it, it just is really well made mm -hmm. and it was thick. So it was a pain to ship out, but we made a profit on it. We made about $10 profit. So we'll yeah. take it. I was actually kind of sad that these sold because I really liked them and I wanted to keep them for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> it's really too bad, but we'll take the money. Maybe we'll find some in the future. Yeah. Next, we sold this Ann Taylor floral dress and it sold for $15 on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. And this came from friends of ours who are downsizing and moving. And so they gave us clothes, they gave us hard goods, they gave us all sorts of things. And this was one of the clothing pieces that they gave us. So we try not to pick up too much Ann Taylor or Loft anymore because it really just sits in our closet yeah. for a really long time and then sells for about 15, 10 to $15. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a good sale. It sold very quickly. I don't know why this dress above any others sold quickly, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Next, we sold this Forever 21 cream blazer for $10 on Poshmark. <laughs> Speaking of low dollar sales. And this one came from Kang's sister. Mm. So we would not be picking up Forever 21 to resell on our own. But we'll take free things. It, it really helps sometimes with, you know, if we're running out of inventory to post. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it really also is about trying to find these pieces a new home. So next we have this Talbot's Teal Blazer. And we sold that for $20 on Poshmark. And I really thought that this was going to sell a lot faster than it did. We have had that since January. Mm -hmm. And the reason I think it sold was it was a really good size. It was a 20, a size 20. So that's why it sold for $20. If it was a smaller size, it maybe would have only sold for about 15. Next was a pretty good sale. We figured that this would sell pretty quick. BCBG Max Azaria Velour Pants. We sold that for $30.40 on eBay. And if you haven't heard us talk about this, the lore pantsuits, tracksuits, they're on trend right now. So pick them up if you see them, they're in good condition and if they're a good brand. So BCBG Max Azura, that is a good brand. And it had like um, rhinestones, rhinestones mm -hmm. or was it bedazzled, bedazzled basically yeah. with BCBG. So we put spell out in our title, which is a key word. Um, if you didn't know, it means when um, the name brand is spelled, spelled out, out <laughs> on an item, if you both often are looking for that. Next, we sold this Lululemon zip up sweatshirt for $46.95 on eBay. We love selling Lululemon. So we have a 100% sell through rate on Lululemon, and this was a bin spine, so really happy with that too. Next, Very we sold this Sigrid Olsen women's 100% linen long sleeve shirt for $25.25 on eBay. This was a good sale, especially for something so lightweight. We got this from the bins, but we did have it for a while. We've had it um, for about two months. So mm -hmm. it took a little longer to sell, but I think that's mostly because the weather is just now starting to warm up. People are looking for linen items, lightweight things to wear over the summer, that sort of thing. This next piece I think is pretty interesting. It was this maxi dress by Pietro Brunelli. 22.70 on eBay. We've had that for a little while. We thought that that would sell much faster, but mm -hmm. guess not. Yeah, I think we thought that it would sell, you know, resorts, that sort of thing, but people really aren't going on vacation right now. Mm -hmm. And so it, this was also a maternity dress. So it's not like you can buy a maternity dress in the winter to wear in the summer because you, you aren't really sure what size you're going to be at that point. So I think that that is why until now. Next we have this cabbie women's Lizzie eyelet tie waist a-line dress for $20 on Poshmark. So this was a good sale. We occasionally will pick up cabbie only if it is the new tag cabbie which is more of a square. This is a, a nice kind of bread and butter sale. Starting on the 29th we sold this purple sweater vest. It was vintage. We sold that for $15 on Poshmark. I know in our last couple of videos we talked a lot about how we love sewing sweater vests they're very on trend all these things well this sweater we have had listed since august since the end of august mm -hmm. so this one maybe not <laughs> i don't know why this one sat around for so long it had a ton of attention it always people were always liking it but 
no one was buying it. And then finally someone came and bought it for $15. We sold this cocoa pear one piece for $22.80 on eBay. This was a swim dress, which especially if you can find those in larger sizes, that is usually a good pickup because people are looking for that more modest swimsuit. And so this ended up selling, even though it was damaged, it had like basically like a slice out of the back. So pretty good sale. We had this floral striped top by Joan Voss sell for $15.50 on eBay. This was an auction and got a few bids, which was surprising. I think it was actually the second time we put it out to auction. So people had bid back and forth a couple times and we ended up getting $15.50, which is pretty good for an auction for us. We sold this black sheath dress by Banana Republic for $15 on Poshmark. And this was faded a little bit, so it took a while to sell and then it didn't sell for very much. But we don't pick up most Banana Republic that we see. Most of it, it's not going to sell for enough for us to be worth our time. So this was kind of a random pickup. Next, we sold this Talbot's Stripe Top for $15 on Poshmark. This was another one that we had for a while. And I am getting much more picky about Talbot's trying to pick up more interesting pieces rather than just some of the basics. And this was more of a basics. This next piece we have for over 180 days listed is this striped triangle t-shirt by Life Clothing. Sold that for $13.20 on eBay. Yeah, it was damaged. It was, you know, just a t-shirt. So we mm. really should not have bought that, but no. we did and it sold after 180 days. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it and we'll say, bye Felicia. <laughs> like Lori dated us. Next, we sold this Victoria's Secret pink half zip sweatshirt for $23.10 on eBay. This was crispy. If you know what crispy means, that means it's, you know, you take it out of the bin and it feels like it's never been worn. Right. This was what this felt like. So we were excited to pick it up and surprised that it didn't sell for more than what we got for it, but that's just what the market is. We sold this Lulu's tie dye romper for $9 on eBay. Yeah, this was damaged and we had it forever. And so we ended up taking a really, well, we, I ended up taking the low offer for it because I really just wanted it out of my house. But I don't recommend picking up much Lulu's anymore. Um, we haven't had very good luck selling it. It doesn't sell for right. very much and it sits forever. Right. Next we sold this. St. Louis Cardinals hoodie sweatshirt for $15 on Poshmark. This was also damaged. It had stains on the front. I we think there were grease stains. A lot of stuff <laughs> sell that had, that was damaged or stained. Yeah. It's crazy. So all that to say, you know, don't discount things just because they seem like they're damaged or they have something wrong with them. There are buyers out there who don't care or mm -hmm. don't read your description. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, so, I do have something to say about that. If, if it's a quality item and, um, you know, you didn't notice the stain before you brought it home, you should still try to list it, I, I guess, really is, is one of the mm -hmm. lessons here because we knew that the hoodie would sell well. It just happened to be stained, so we had to lower the price on it. Otherwise, it probably would have been about $30. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Last on the 29th, we sold this Torrid Women's Tunic for $28.71 on eBay. We love selling Torrid. It always sells for us. This was a quick sale and we're really happy with that price. We had one sale on the 30th. It was this Freeway white embroidered dress for $15 on Poshmark. We were really excited to get rid of this because we have had that listed since November. Mm -hmm. So in addition to selling a lot of damaged things, we also sold a lot of really old things that we've had for while so yeah this is a good week on all levels <laughs> <laughs> yeah. starting on the 31st we sold this loft jumpsuit for 15 dollars on poshmark we just recently picked this up it was only listed for just a couple of days which is very rare for loft pieces but this was stylish and it was in a good size it was in a size 16 so all of those factors worked in its favor and sold it very quickly next on the 31st we sold this fabletics leggings for $20 on Poshmark. We had these forever because the pull tag 
that had the size on it or any kind of information was cut out mm -hmm. and so i measured them but that's not as reliable for people because they can't see the tag they don't know what the measurement should be mm -hmm. so i think that's why it took a while to sell and they were cropped leggings which full length or seven eighths leggings sell a lot better next on the 31st we sold this victoria's secret kimono for 20 dollars on poshmark and this was victoria's secret gold label which is an older tag and that usually is something that people are on the lookout for. People are searching for that era of Victoria's Secret, but this robe was missing the belt. So it didn't sell as well as it could have if we had the belt. We sold this boiled wool floral purse for $15 on Poshmark. This sold within the day. So that was really good. That person sent me an offer for $15 and I accepted. Maybe it was the other way around. I think they, I think I sent them an offer mm. and they accepted. So that was a good sale. We had just listed it and it sold. Next on the 31st, we have this Artisan New York dress that sold for $15 on Poshmark. This we picked up just because it was linen and it was lightweight. So I'm happy with that purse. Also on the 31st, we have this La Gents. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Comment below if that's how you say it. <laughs> we'll go with it. We sold it for $25 on Poshmark. I think that this brand is sold on Revolve. And so I had it listed. I had these pants listed for $40, I think. And someone came in and offered $25. So that was a good sale. Last on the 31st, we have this striped dress by Poof. We sold that for $14 on eBay. We got this from a friend of ours who gave us a bunch of her old clothing. And so we have had this for a really long time, since October. Mm -hmm. We would not recommend buying this brand or this style dress when you were out and about. It took a really long time to sell. All right, so on April 1st, we had some really cool things happen. You should watch our video that we made. We published two videos, but one of them happened to be this April Fool's video. You should really watch it. Go have a laugh. But we sold two items on that day as well. We sold this Zara unisex combined skull t-shirt and it sold for $14.70 on eBay. The buyer on this went back and forth with me a couple times about the offer. Yeah. So eventually I just accepted. Yeah. It was an offer she for $9.50 plus shipping. So I just said, fine, I want to just let it out of my house. She gave me the offer at the end of March. And so I was hoping that it would count towards our March numbers, but then she didn't pay till April. So we'll count to our April numbers, <laughs> but. And lastly, we sold this old mattress that we had that we upgraded to this cool new mattress. It was a queen size and the brand was Zinus, if you're curious. We sold that on Facebook Marketplace. The person came, they picked it up. We helped them load it into their truck, sold it for $90 cash. So we love selling things on Facebook Marketplace especially furniture items and things like that. You have to deal with a lot of random people Ghosts. who- Yeah, who will say, you know, is this available? I'd like to come get it. You know, all this stuff, make all these plans. And then 10 minutes before they're supposed to get to your house, they say, I can't come. Yeah. I'm not coming. And you're like, we had, ah! <laughs> we had so many people ghost us on this. It is just so crazy. But that's just what comes with Facebook Marketplace local pickups. You know, it's- Yeah. It makes me kind of paranoid to give out my address, but you know, you kind of have to play that right. And you know, just, just hope that, that they pick it up, but we are happy to let it go because we need to make some space in this house. So that was our week from March 26th through April 1st. We sold 46 items and had a gross revenue of 1,048 and 38 cents. Our cost of goods for those 46 items was $69.66. Our net profit, so after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, was $676.61. So that is so good. That's almost double what we had last week. Yeah. So last week was a terrible week. And if our experience has told us anything, it's to complain about how terrible of a week you've had. <laughs> and then the next week, you have a really good week. Or if you don't have any sales, you should just 
say, man, I haven't had any sales on whatever platform, and then that platform will give you sales. <laughs> it's like your phone is listening to you. Yeah, actually, your phone probably is listening to you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, side. I think what also helped us this week was running a sale for five days on eBay, and we put our entire store on 20% off. And so that spurred a lot of momentum because what we think is, you know, sales beget sales and that that really helps trigger the algorithm for eBay so that we get more viewers. Um, eBay thinks that we're getting a lot of activity going on for their platform. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how we've had such a good week and you try to make a sale or two. So in total for March, since we just finished that this week, we sold a total of 152 items, which is really good. That's more than what we listed in March, which is so rare for us. Yeah. And so we're really excited and hope that that continues, that we'll be able to reach that kind of equilibrium in the amount that we're listing and the amount that we're selling. Right. Our gross revenue for the month was $3,000. $370.41. Pretty good. Our cost of goods was $235.38. And our net profit was $2,125.47. That's really good. And I think that that's really important for us to keep the cost of goods low and really try to get as much profit as we can. That helped us pay for one month's worth of mortgage. Our mortgage is about $1,700 um, because we escrow our our taxes and all that. We don't have to get into that, but, but we pay $1,700 on it. And I think that reselling has really been a great supplement for, you know, just these bills and, and all that. But um, especially because that takes, a, that takes away from a stress of having to pay for the mortgage and also gives us this avenue of investing the rest of that money. So it's really important to us to really try to keep as much profit as we can and um, reach our goals towards financial independence, you know, week after week. So mm -hmm. hopefully that inspires you. Um, we've had a really good month. Um, I don't know that we're going to have a very good month in April, Probably but uh, we'll keep you updated <laughs> yeah. because we're getting married. We're going to go on vacation. We're going to put our store on vacation mode. Mm -hmm. So... It is what it is. We'll have a good um, April, hopefully, regardless, but not as good as March. I can definitely <laughs> tell you that. All right, we've kept you long enough. We are getting to the community bolos. So if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you subscribe? We know why you're here. You just want to see the community bolos. Well, this video has been long enough. We've got one community bolo for you, and it comes from our good friend, Van Jim. And she sold these Doc Martens they were embroidered and they were the style Vonda 1460 and they were just so cool. They sold for $150. Crazy. Crazy. She said that she paid $30 for them. So $30 into $150, that is a good deal. Yep. So if you haven't already checked Van Jam out, she's on Instagram. That's her main platform. She does videos and things like that on there as well, showing you her hauls and some some thrifting stuff. Definitely follow her. She's mm -hmm. got a great presence there and she's always willing to share. And we just really like um, all the things that she's doing there. So thank you so much, Van Jam. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you have any community bolos that anything that is sold for a good amount of money or anything that you were really excited about, send them to us. You can contact us through our email or on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So either way, just send us what you have. We would love to feature you. Yeah, we want your bolos, okay? Yeah. We wanna share them. We wanna talk about you because we know you're great. Exactly. And so if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that people like us and they like our videos and that they should keep them up and showing to more people. So we would love if you would do that. And leave a comment down below of what your best sale was or what you are most excited for this week. Yeah. And remember, we're so happy and we're so glad for you. Keep that passion burning. We're cheering you on. We'll see you later. Bye.